Hello everyone. We are your friends from the Office of Early Childhood at the Mississippi Department of Education. My name is Michael and believe me, learning is always fun. And I'm Robin and I cannot wait to learn new things with you. And I'm Dynamic Dita. I love to investigate. I'm Oki and I like to hokey pokey. I also like to learn through song. I'm Marissa, and I like to make learning fun. And this is our mockingbird. He's our state bird, and he likes to send us a tweet every day. And I'm Candace. I like to show you different ways to do things. Welcome, welcome, friends today. Friends that are here and far away. <laughs> Remix! Welcome, welcome, friends today. Friends that are here and far away, we will learn through meaningful play about our theme and question of the day. Welcome, welcome, friends today, friends that are here and far away. Let's have fun! Welcome, friends. I am so happy to see you today. Let's visit the Mockingbird and see what the Mockingbird has tweeted us today. How do you communicate your feelings? Hmm, how do you communicate your feelings? Well, I know that sometimes children have a hard time communicating their feelings. I want to invite Candace up here and she can help us. Candace. Hi, Marissa. How are you? I'm doing well. How about you? Good, I'm doing well. So how do you communicate your feelings is our tweet for the day. Oh, mm -hmm. that's really important to be able to communicate how you feel. It is. Um, so behind you, we have some vocabulary words. And this word right here is express. Mm -hmm. And you'll notice in the picture that the child is writing. And that is a way that we can express our feelings. We can write about it, or we can tell with our words. And sometimes our actions will express our feelings. Definitely. Mm -hmm. Our other word is emotions. And emotions, you can look at the pictures. Sometimes we are familiar with the sad, or maybe not so sure, and maybe the happy. Mm -hmm. Happy's my favorite. It is. Happy is nice. So I know that you always do a good job of teaching me some Spanish and some sign language. Can you help me with that today? Absolutely. Okay. Let's expand our vocabulary together. Okay, I'm ready. So oftentimes the Spanish word is very similar to the English word. So for the word express, we say expresar. Oh, expressar. Very good. Let's do it okay. one more time. Expressar. Expressar. Very good. You've been practicing your Spanish. I have. I've got to roll my tongue, though. You do a great job at that. Thanks, Marissa. Okay. Let me also teach you the sign for express. Okay. So you're going to take your two hands, one in front of the other, mm -hmm. and go outward and open them. You're expressing. Expressing. Isn't that neat? That is neat. Okay, what about emotions? Emotions. Mm -hmm. So that's also a word that is similar in Spanish as it is in English. Mm -hmm. We say emociones. Emociones. Very good. Let's do it one more time. Emociones. Emociones. Very good. And the sign for emotions, mm -hmm. you're going to hold your two hands up, forming the letter E, mm -hmm. and you're going to do them like this, emotions. Emotions. You know, I've noticed whenever you tell me the Spanish words, I have to look at how your mouth moves because you know when we talk, our mouth goes in different shapes when we make different letter sounds. So that helps me a lot. That helps us communicate. Mm -hmm. It does help because I'm doing better with my words. You're doing great. Okay. So I want to take a minute and I want to talk about different emotions. And so I've got some pictures. Oh, I saw them over here. Uh-huh. And I thought that we could kind of talk about them and, and make sure that we understand that sometimes emotions can look different. Mm. So if I put this right up here, let's talk about her for a minute. Mm. Her face, she looks she doesn't really look sad or happy. No, she's not smiling. Mm -hmm, she's not. She almost looks bored. 
Oh, sometimes I feel that way mm -hmm. when I just don't have anything to do. Yes. And kids, sometimes they will say, I'm bored. And I can see the children doing that. Mm -hmm. Will you pick up another picture? Sure. Okay. What about this one? Oh, what do you think? You know, if my face looked like that, I would say I'm surprised. I'm surprised. Can you make that? Can we make that face together? Okay, you ready? Okay. <gasps> that was see, great. That was I great. felt very surprised. I did. Okay, let's do another one. What about that one? Oh, this. I think she's yawning. I think so too. Mm -hmm. She's sleepy. She looks a little tired. Oh, I Her understand. Her eyes that. are closed. Um, do you think we can yawn? Ready? <sighs> Wonder if the oh. children can yawn. Can they practice these same facial expressions? I bet they can. Mm -hmm. You should try it. Okay, you want let's another try one. Another one. Mm -hmm. Uh oh. This one, she looks mad. Look at her face. And look at her fist. Oh, she has them clenched tightly. She does. So if we clench her fist and we make a really mean look and we're mad, mad. Can you do that at home? Can you try to be a, show us a mad face? That okay. doesn't feel very good. It does But sometimes we do get mad. We do get mad. Okay. Uh, I like that one much better. That one is. I saw your face whenever <laughs> we put this up. When we put up this face, Candace's face got all happy. Do you mean smiling is contagious? It is. I looked at her smile and I couldn't help but smile. Hmm. I wonder if they're smiling at home while they're watching. I bet they are. Okay. Okay, we got two more. Let's okay. see what we got. Uh oh, what's happening there? Um, this looks frustrated to me. Oh, I'm afraid She's so. She's got her hand on top of her head, and her eyes are all squished. She's frustrated. Oh, frustrated. I wonder what happened that made her feel that way. I know. You know, sometimes when my work is too hard, mm -hmm. it makes me feel frustrated. Mm -hmm. And sometimes I've noticed that children, they get frustrated when they don't get to do the things they want to do. Oh, that happens mm -hmm. too. Yeah. All right. Let's we do one, one more. more. It's our last one. Oh, I'm going to put this one in the middle. Hmm. Huh. This is like she's looking up in the air and wondering. Her eyes are looking up. That looks like a thinking face. A thinking face. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What do you think she's feeling? Hmm. Well, I just noticed that I, I made a thinking face because I was thinking of what she was doing. <laughs> hmm. You mean you were curious? I was curious. Oh, hmm. maybe she's curious. I bet children sometimes get curious. I wonder what you get curious about. Hmm. Hmm. Well, Candace, thank you for taking time to go over these emotions with us. Sure. And helping me. Um, with my Spanish and the sign language for our vocabulary words. Now, I'm got, we have a new friend, and her yeah. name is Robin. Oh, I love Robin. I oh, know. Robin, ha she loves to make learning fun. So I'm going to invite her up here, and then when she's done t teaching me what she wants to show me, then I'm going to invite you back up. That sounds great. Okay, all See right. you later. Bye, Bye. Okay, now Robin, she loves to make learning fun. I can't wait to see what she has. So, Robin, welcome. Hi, Marissa. How are you today? I'm doing well. How are you? Um, well, hmm. So today, I, I was a little nervous. We're talking about emotions today. Mm -hmm. And we, we had these pictures over here. Mm -hmm. And I know that I was not feeling excited about being here in front of the camera. Um, I was a little... Ooh, I was almost maybe like this. Like, I was just scared, like I just didn't want to do. Well, you don't look scared to me. You actually look happy to me, Marissa. Well, thank you. I noticed the smile on your face. So sometimes the moods can change. Our emotions can change during the day. Right. Okay. 
Okay. So, how are you feeling? I'm excited, Marissa. Why are you excited? Because I have been visiting my friends in their classroom all week long. Mm -hmm. And you know what? What? I have a lot of work samples I can't wait to show you. I love seeing work samples. I heard you and Candace talking about the question this morning. Yes. Our question is, how do you communicate your feelings? And I asked the children that question. Would you, you like did, to read the responses? I would love to read it. So we have the star right here. And are you going to pull one out first? Sure. Okay. Okay, so when we ask, how do you communicate your feelings? Amaria said, I show someone I love them when I kiss them. I bet she kisses her mama. I bet so, because a lot of times whenever we go to school, we want to give our mom a little kiss or a little sugar on the cheek. Yes. Mm -hmm. All right, let's see what this child says. This is John Hardy. John Hardy said, I tell my teacher when I'm sad and she will call my mom. That's oh, a great way to communicate. It is. He communicates with his teacher by telling her yes. how he feels. And I bet he's four years old and he does seem he a little is. scared and, and he worries about being away from his mom. So I'm glad that that teacher takes time to call the mom and just let them know. Yes, let's see what else. Okay. This is from Olivia. Uh huh. Olivia said, I smile real big when I'm happy. That's like you. When you yes, came on I'm here, smiling. you were smiling real big. Yes, because I'm happy. I wonder what she was happy about. I'm not sure. Uh huh. Let's see. We're going to do one more. Oh, this one's long. Oh, wow. So this is Catherine. And Catherine said, by saying the color, from the story Color Monster. Miss Kayla said that she reads Color Monster at the beginning of the year and they talk about them when they're having big feelings in the classroom. So she's making a connection from a book that she read, that her teacher read. Yes, and to her feelings. So they say uh -huh. the color, like in the Color Monster of how they feel. Oh. So like if they're feeling really scared and angry, they might red. Because usually red associates with mad or angry. Right. Ah. And it, it tells us to stop a lot of times, right? Yes, it does. Well, I'm impressed that Catherine made that connection. Good job to you. Yes. Okay. So, so I'm going to move this over to the side. So, Marissa, while I was there and we were talking about our feelings, mm -hmm. some of my friends drew pictures. Would you like to see their I pictures? I would love to see their pictures. Okay, so I have some up here. Mm -hmm. And the first one is from Olivia. We talked about Olivia just a minute ago. Uh huh. And Olivia drew a picture showing that she was happy. Look at the smile I on her see. face. I see. It's a curved line that goes up. Yes. Uh -huh. And I did ask Olivia why she was happy. And you know what she said? What? She said that that day she got to cut the lights on and off at school. So she had a job to do, a responsibility in the classroom. And that made her happy. She was smiling really mm -hmm. big. I mean, I'm happy when I have a job. <laughs> and then I spoke to another student uh -huh. and he drew a picture and he has a sad face. Oh, he does. He has something else right there. Do you see this, Marissa? Do you see this? It almost looks like tears. It is. And he said that he has tears because he was sad for his mama. He was sad for his mama. You know, tears is another way to communicate your feelings. Yes. And I know that sometimes, um, well, first of all, when I looked at that, I wonder why he did the blue color mm. for the tears. You know, oftentimes children associate water with the color blue. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Tears are like water. Uh, they are. Mm -hmm. Yes, mm -hmm. when the water comes out of your mm -hmm. eyes. But I Ryan. thought this was interesting because we had one who was happy and, and one, one who, who was, was sad. sad. Wow. And th but we also know that there's other emotions, That's too. Right. So, That's right. Um, now, I see that you have some more art projects down there. I do, Marissa. Okay. This is real exciting. Okay. So, we made masks. 
we made masks to show other ways that we could show our feelings through uh -huh. masks. Do you want to see one? Yes, I do. Okay, so here's one for you. Okay. So I'm going to hold one up. Okay. Oh. So I look at this mask and I see it has two eyes and it has a nose and it has, this it looks like a smiley face with some sharp teeth. He almost looks like he could be scary. He looks really scary. To yes. Me. What about yours? So look at mine. Uh-huh. Looks like a witch, right? Yes. And witches are usually scary. Yes. But my friend, Harper, uh -huh. when she made this mask, uh -huh. she told me she was a nice witch. So she made a smile for that witch. Mm -hmm. I also noticed on your witch how she's got this jewel right here. You know what that is? I think I know, but I want you to tell me. It's a wart. Because sometimes pictures of witches they'll have a wart on their face and the warts usually look ugly but that wart looks pretty she shiny. wanted her witch to be pretty uh -huh. she wanted to be a pretty nice witch i like it and I, when you put your when you put your mask up it has the holes in there so you can see through it mm -hmm. those are more. great would you like to see yes them? because these were made with markers and it looks like the children cut and these are made differently. Yes. They're a different kind of masks. So the children made these all by themselves. They were completely independent. They sat at the table at the art table and they made them all by themselves. So they got to use the glue all by themselves? They did. They were able to hmm. cut tissue paper and use the markers. They had lots of supplies over there to choose from. Wow. Do you think we can make a mask? I think we can do that. Okay. So let's put over, I'm going to put mine over here and I'll take yours. And if you'll move those materials over here. So we've you. got a mask for me and one for you. And so Marissa, we have some things in here that we can decorate with like the children had in their classroom. Perfect. Can we pour some of it out sure. here? And it'll be easier for us to um, choose okay. what we want. So we have some foam pieces mm -hmm. and some pom-poms. And then here's some tissue paper. Okay. Well. So we'll just put some of this out and we can okay. choose. Wonderful. And then I noticed we've got the markers right here too. Yes, we may want to draw a face on here. What kind of face are you going to draw? Ooh, so I'm going to draw a happy face right now. Hmm. And I'm going to use a green because I have a green dress on. Oh, that's a good idea. So I'm going to go ahead and draw yeah. my face. Well, do you want to be, what kind of emotion do you want to show? You said happy? Happy. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yes, can I go ahead and draw a happy? Okay, so I took my top off and I'm going to put my top right back on here. And I'm going to draw in a happy face. He has a curve line and it goes up. So I'm going to do an up face like that. And then I'm going to take my top off and I'm going to make sure that the top goes right back on hmm. and put it down. So, Marissa, I was thinking that I would choose pink because I like how you chose green because your dress was green. Uh -huh. So, I'm going to choose pink because my shirt's pink. There you go. But I want to choose a different feeling. Ooh, I wonder what mm. feeling you're going to do. Maybe. Hmm. I'm not sure if I'll, I don't really want to be sad. Maybe mm -hmm. I could just be. You could have a straight line or a wiggly line. That's a good idea. I like, I a, like a wiggly, wiggly line. line. So that how do I do a wiggly line? So you're going to have curves go uh -huh. up and down. Up and, and down. down. Like this right here, Marissa? Yes. I like it. Yes, you did a great job. Thank you. Okay, so the other thing we have here is I have some water in this cup, and I'm going to take the water and I'm going to pour some water into the glue. And we're going to stir it around just a little bit like this. I like this, Marissa. The children will probably have an easier time with this glue. And I think that um, sometimes the children have a hard time squeezing the, blue, the glue bottle. And sometimes when they squeeze, too much glue comes mm -hmm. out. So my friend Lemuel, he taught me this technique. So here's a brush for you. Thank you. And here's a brush for me. So should I 
wipe some of the glue off so it wouldn't be so much on my paintbrush. Yes. Okay, so I'm mm -hmm. going to wipe a little off. And I mm -hmm. think I'm going to put some hair on the top of Ooh, my mask. Ooh, okay. Because I noticed that some of those pieces look squiggly like my smiley face. Yes. Okay, okay so you can just paint on what you want. Okay. And I'm glad that you remembered to trip, to take some of the glue and tap it on the side like this so it doesn't get on the table. Okay, so should I mm -hmm. put some pieces on there before my glue dries? Mm -hmm. Oh, I like the way you put the brush right over here. Yes, so you go ahead. I wonder if we're going to be decorating the same. Hmm. Right now it doesn't look like it. Well, I'm going to give mine pink hair. You know why? Because you have a pink shirt. Yeah, I have a pink shirt. Oh. I really like pink. Do you like green? I like green and I also like blue. Oh. So this makes it much easier. Look, Marissa, does that look like my mouth? It does look like your mouth. You probably could paint some glue on your mouth and put put that paper on there. So I noticed it was curvy lines. Uh-huh. I have circles. Oh, you on do. Mine. You have circles. Mm. You know what? What? I noticed you put a pom pom up there. Uh huh. I wonder if I could put a pom pom right here for my cheeks. Oh, for your cheeks? I think that would be a great idea. What color do you think I should use? Well, you've said your favorite color is pink. You could use pink, or you could use red. Mm. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I'm gonna put dot here and a dot here and now I guess I will choose red so I can have a different color. I'll okay. Put one on this side and I'll stick. I'm gonna put two on this side because look that pom-pom was big and this one was small. <laughs> it is. They're so not I'm the gonna same. use two so that they'll It'll look a little bigger. Oh, there you go. And I also noticed that your small ones, they have um, sparklies in them, too. They do. And mm -hmm. you know what I noticed when you touched it? It moved. I might need a little bit more glue. You might need some more glue. I really like using a lot of glue. Do you like to use a lot of glue? Yes. But I don't want to make a huge mess. So oh. I have to be very careful. What about a nose? Oh, I can do a nose. I think I'm going to do one of these little. So this is a foam piece and it comes apart so I could glue a nose on. Now, I don't think we're going to have time to get all of this done, but I can't wait to share this with Candace. She's going to love it. She is going to love How it. How do you think she's going to feel when she sees it? I think that she is going to feel surprised. You tell me about it, okay? Okay, I will. So thank you for sharing this with me. And we can hold these up real quick. And we can put them over our face. Oh, I lost and there's our mask. I love it, Marissa. Thank, thank you for letting me make a mask with you. Um, thank you for sharing. And I can't wait to see you again. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Bye. Bye. So Candace is going to come back, and we can't wait to see what she has. Hi, Marissa. So Candace, I want to share with you real quick what we talked about. Okay. Because okay, it was so much fun. So behind you, we, Robin went to a classroom, and do you remember how we talked about expressing our emotions? Yes. So these children, they express their emotions by drawing, oh. and this one was happy and this child was sad. Oh, I mm -hmm. can see it in their drawing. Mm -hmm. And then we noticed that she used, um, or this child used a blue to represent the, the tears oh, coming out. Mm -hmm. I'm so sorry, that friend is sad. Mm -hmm. And then she also shared with us some, some masks that some children made. Wow. Uh -huh. And we talked about the facial expressions on those. And then we got to make our own mask. Wow, yeah. Robin sure makes learning fun. She does. And you know, Robin said, Robin and I talked about how we thought you might feel when you come up here. Yeah. And we thought you might be surprised. 
I'm definitely uh, surprised. I saw your face. So this is my mask that I made. Wow. And I have a smiley face. Uh-oh, my pom-pom fell off. Uh-oh. So I have a smiley face and I chose green because of my green dress and blue because it's my favorite color. I like it. And then this is something that Robin did. And oh. Robin, her favorite color was pink and she did a squiggly line. Wow. Uh-huh. So I wonder, when people are feeling, have different feelings, mm -hmm. what's another way that we can show and express? Do you have something that we, you can show us? I do. You know, sometimes it's hard to, to choose the right words. Mm -hmm. And sometimes mm -hmm. we need another way to express ourselves. Mm -hmm. I have these little toys here that sometimes help us express ourselves if we don't have the words. Mm -hmm. So for example, I was surprised when, you, when I came in and you showed me the things that you and Robin made and look at that's how my face looked my mouth was open big and my eyes were open big and my eyebrows were high mm -hmm. I was surprised Ooh. do you have another one in there you can show I us? do sometimes like the friend in our picture mm -hmm. that that was that uh, your uh, Robin's friend drew mm -hmm. this friend looks sad do you see how his mouth is wrinkled yes. up and his eyes are scrunched up? Mm -hmm. And sometimes I might not have the words to say I'm sad, mm -hmm. but I could find the right facial expression mm -hmm. and use that. You know, emotions are, are important um, because that's how we respond to something. And I love how there's different ways that we've talked about expressing our emotions. So thank you, Candace. Sure. Um, until next time, farewell. farewell. Friends, we hope you had fun today. Be sure and join us again next time for more adventures. And for more fun activities, you can always go to our website at mdek12.org forward slash EC. Farewell, farewell friends today, friends that are here and far away. We have learned a lot through play about our theme and question of the day. Farewell, farewell friends today, it's time to go till another day. Farewell!